Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see the design of septic tank. So first we see the theory of septic tank or what is septic tank. A septic tank is an underground chamber made up of concrete, fiberglass or plastic through which domestic wastewater flows for its basic treatment. The settling and anaerobic processes happening in this septic tank which reduce the solids and organics but the treatment efficiency is only moderate. Septic tank system are a type of simple on-site sewage facility. They can be used in areas that are not connected to sewerage system such as rural areas and the treated liquid effluent is commonly disposed in a septic drain field which provides further treatment. So sometimes groundwater pollution is happening because of this infiltration from or leakage from this septic tank because these are underground. So now we are going to see its design. So for the design of septic tank, there are some design considerations that we are sometimes assuming are first is capacity of septic tank. The minimum capacity of septic tank is assumed to be in the range of 2000 to 3000 liter. So we are designing the septic tank for this minimum capacity. Then there are inlet and outlet Baffles are provided in between the septic tank to reduce the velocity of flow and settlement of solid particles. Then detention period. Generally, we are considering the detention time uh, for the sewage which is retained into this septic tank is 24 hours. But normally, we are taken it as 12 to 13 hours. Next important parameter is length to width ratio. Generally septic tanks are rectangular in shape and its length is equal to 2 to 3 times its width and width should not be less than 90 cm. The width, width should be less than 90 cm and its depth should be 1.2 to 1.8 cm. So on the basis of this design consideration we are solving the problem. So let's be the first problem. I just read the problem statement. Design the dimensions of septic tank for a small colony of 150 person provided with an assured water supply rate of 120 liter per person per day. Assume any data required. So in problem statement, we have only value of water supply rate and number of population. So from that two values, first of all, we have to find out the quantity of sewage flow. So first of all, the quantity of water supply is equal to the per capita water supply rate into population. So 120 into 150 equal to 18,000 liter per day. So this is the quantity of water supply. But for design of septic tank, we, we know the value of sewage flow. So how we are calculating the generation of sewage flow? So generally we are assuming the 80% of water supply become a sewage. So that sewage quantity is equal to 80% of 18,000 that is 0.8 into 1800 sorry. So which is equal to 14,400 liter per day. So this is the capacity, this is the flow of sewage. Then we are assuming the detention time as 24 hours. So from these two values that is sewage flow and detention time we are calculating the capacity of tank. So capacity of tank is equal to the total sewage flow per day equal to 14,400 into 25 divided by its detention time that is 24 so which is equal to 14,400 liter so capacity of tank for septic tank is 14,400 liter so next is assume the rate of deposited sludge which is equal to 30 liter per capita per year 
and also assuming the period of sludge cleaning is one year. So the volume of sludge deposited, which is equal to thirty into one fifty. One fifty is again the population. So the total sludge deposited and for one year, so total sludge deposited is equal to four thousand five hundred liter. So the total required capacity of tank is the addition of capacity for flow plus capacity for sludge. So which is equal to fourteen hundred fourteen thousand four hundred plus four thousand five hundred equal to eighteen thousand nine hundred liter. So the overall capacity of septic tank is eighteen point nine meter cube. So next is we know the value of capacity of septic tank. So we are assuming the value of depth of tank, which is in range between one point two to one point eight meter. So in this problem, we are assuming it as one point five meter. So then from these two values, we are calculating the surface area of tank. Which is equal to volume or capacity of tank divided by depth equal to eighteen point nine divided by one point five equal to twelve point six meter square. So next important is assume length to width ratio, which is equal to three s to one. That means in design consideration we have seen that the length of tank is generally equal to two to three times its width. So suppose Width is one meter, then its length should be three times width. Means three. So length to width ratio is three s to one. So as we know, as we have the value of surface area, so area is equal to length into width. So its length equal to three times width. Means three w or three b into b equal to three b square equal to area is twelve point six. So from that equation, we are calculating the value of width. So its width equal to two point one meter, and provide width equal to two point one meter and length equal to three times its width, equal to six meter. So the actual area of septic tank is two point one into six equal to twelve point six meter square. So the dimensions of septic tank would be six meter by two point one meter by one point five meter. Plus, we are providing the point three meter of free bore. So this is the type of design of septic tank. So next, we will see the next example. Design a septic tank for the following data: number of people hundred, sewage flow per capita per day is one twenty liter, desludging period is one year, length. To width ratio equal to four as to one. What would be the size of its soak well if the effluent from septic tank is to discharge into it? And assume the percolation rate through the soak well is one to five zero liter per meter cube per day. So addition in previous problem they are asking the capacity of soak well. So let we let's we see its steps one by one. So first of first of all we know the quantity of sewage per day is equal to twelve twelve thousand liter per day. So assuming the rate of detention period is twenty four hours. So from that we are calculating the quantity of sewage produced during the detention period that is capacity of tank, which is equal to Twelve thousand into twenty four divided by twenty four equal to ten thousand liter. So capacity of septic tank is twelve thousand liter. So again we are assuming the rate of sludge is thirty liter per capita per year, and the cleaning period is one year. So the quantity of sludge deposited, which is equal to thirty into hundred into one, hundred is the Population, so which is equal to three thousand liter. So the total required capacity of tank is the addition of sewage flow plus sludge rate, desludging rate. That is twelve thousand plus three thousand equal to fifteen thousand liter, equal to fifteen meter cube. Then 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया व्हिच इज इक्वल टू कैपेसिटी ऑफ टैंक डिवाइडेड बाय इट्स डेप्थ सो वी आर अज्यूमिंग द डेप्थ ऑफ टैंक इज 1.5 मीटर सो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया इक्वल टू 10 मीटर स्क्वायर सो वी आर अज्यूमिंग लेंथ टू विड्थ रेशियो इज 4s to 1 that means if width is 1 meter then its length should be 4b so by using this equation 4b square equal to 10 that is cross sectional area we are getting the value of width which is equal to 1.5 meter so its length equal to 4 times its width that is 4 into 1.5 equal to 6 meter so the dimensions of tank will be Length into width into depth that is six meter by one point five meter by one point five meter and we are providing the free board of point three meter. So in addition to previous one, the next is design of soak well. The soak well or soak pit can be designed by assuming the percolating capacity of filtering media. and which is given in problem statement so its percolating capacity or percolation rate is 1 to 50 liter per meter cube per day and sewage full flow is 12000 liter per day that we are calculated from previous slide so the sewage flow equal to 12000 liter per day and percolating rate is 1250 liter per meter cube per day so from that two values we are calculating the volume of filtering media required for the soak well which is equal to total sewage flow divided by its percolation rate and which is equal to and if the depth of soak well is taken as 2 meter so then its area of soak well required equal to its capacity Equal to nine point six divided by its depth equal to four point eight meter square. So the diameter of soak well will be two point five meter by using the formula pi by four d square equal to area of circular soak well. So these are two kind of problems that are going to ask for your examination. So first problem is that simply you have to find out the capacity of septic tank and dimensions of septic tank. and in second type in addition to previous you have to calculate the dimensions of soak pit well soak pit or soak well so these are some practice examples that i have shortlisted from previous question paper so i just read out design a dimensions of septic tank for a small colony of 150 person provide it with an assured water supply rate of 120 liter per capita per day Second is design of septic tank for hundred people. Assume all the necessary data. Third one is design and dimensions of septic tank for following data: number of people, either two two hundred or one thirty. Sewage per capita per day is one twenty liter. Desilting period is one year. Length to width ratio is four as to one. so design a septic tank for a hostel so next problem is design a septic tank for a hostel housing 125 persons also design the oil absorption system for the disposal of septic tank if claim assuming the percolation rate is 20 minute per centimeter so these are the kind of problems on design of septic tank so in that first of all you have to find out the capacity of septic tank then you have to find out the desilting rate then the addition both the capacities to find out the total capacity of septic tank and if asking in problem statement then you have to design design of soak pit or soak well and finally you have to find out the dimensions of septic tank as well as dimensions of soak pit or soak well thank you